been a string of murders in this hotel. Terrifying. I'm concerned for the well-being of all the people of Novak. Let's go back up to the mouth there. Let's see what that mouth do. Welcome. <laughs> Come on in. Yeah, thanks a lot there, fella. What's going on? You, uh, Boone's replacement, are you? What's going on, man? Yeah, hey, just hanging out. How you doing? Uh, who are you? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's Boone. So, uh, what do you protect the town from? Same thing Boone does, I suppose. You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately we've been getting ghouls, coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far we've been lucky. Interesting. But you shouldn't see any more ghouls coming from Repcon. <laughs> you could thank old Nick for that one. Yeah, my name's Nick Omanta. Um, so can you tell me a little bit more about Boone? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. Boone doesn't seem to be friendly with anyone, you know? I had a little chat with him, a couple of questions, he asked me to do some shady shit. So, uh, I refused him, and he didn't like that either, but... Yeah, I don't think there's any sort of winning over a guy like that. Why are you on bad terms with Boone? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Well, what did you and the wife argue about? Are you the one that did it? Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. <laughs> then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Whoa! My god. How about that gang you were in? Are they tough? Can you fight? Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. Yeah, you look like a con. Well, uh, what'd you do with the NCR? Aside from, you know, fighting with people's wives and shit like that. That seems petty, man. You know, of course a man's gonna pick his wife over his friend every time. One, he has a legal obligation to. The other one is just the fucking dude he hangs out with. You know what I'm saying, Manny? Get your fucking head on straight, man. Anyways, tell me a little bit about the NCR. Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? <laughs> making people safe, he says. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So, why'd you end up leaving? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. Hmm. Well, what did happen at Bitter Springs? I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. It just wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. But you still wear the fucking hat, don't you? You're a weird guy, Manny. So's Boone, for that matter, but I guess that's what it takes to be a sniper. Anyways, uh, I'll catch Boone during the night time, I guess. You got the night watch, yeah? Alright, I'll be back at some point. Thanks for the info, I'll see you later. Yeah, see ya. Hmm. Well, I, do, I didn't want to get involved in the case, you know? Boone's like, hey, help me find Welcome my back. fucking wife. Can I get you anything? I'm like, all right, that's, that sounds good. And then he's like, I want to shoot this other sure dude. Sure thing. Have a look. Okay, that doesn't sound too good all of a sudden. And then, come to find out that his best friend is the one that's been fighting with his wife. Maybe the one that fucking offed her, you know? How can you really say for sure? How do we know? We definitely don't. 
Ah, it tickles me, you know? It makes me want to get involved. Maybe I will. I just don't know. Should I? Should I not? Hmm. That's always the question. I thought I had something to sell to this fella, but it doesn't seem like much at all that I got here. I want to keep my old hat and my, my suit just in case I head back to Gamora at some point. Who knows when that'll be. Electronics, sensor modules, scrap metal. Yeah, my goodness. Spacesuit helmet. Yeah, you could have this. Spacesuit decreases uh, rads taken. Spacesuit helmet does jack shit, so yeah. Get this out of here. I guess that's about it. I got so much fucking Wonder Blue, I don't know what to do with it. Here, have some of this. Awesome. That seems good to me. Couple of wrenches, why not? Cool. I appreciate it. Goodbye. Come back soon now. Oh, Cliff. Cliffy Cliff. I don't know what he thinks he's doing in here. If if the Legion does come to take over Novak, they're gonna head right into that fucking dinosaur. Right up to get the sniper. Oh, this must be Cliff's house. Fucking dinky dinosaurs everywhere. Got on the fridge. Yeah, there's some stuff for me there. Thank you so much. What is this? Dinosaur on a skate? Is that what this dude does all day? Dinosaurs playing pool? This is fucking terrifying. At least there ain't no dinosaurs in the bathroom. That guy weirds me the fuck out all of a sudden. I thought he was just trying to sell the fucking things, but it turns out he really likes them. Hey, hey NCR fella. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Pleased to meet you, Andy. I am Nico Manta of Gamora. Uh, what do you do around here, Andy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. Sure, <laughs> doesn't seem to be too much going on in this town aside from a kidnapping. You got any information about that? Maybe you could just talk to me about the NCR, hmm? Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. <laughs> they haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Hmm, where were those ranges again? I think I should probably go check on them. Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. I don't have to tell them that you fucking sent me, you know what I mean? I just go check it out. Wander on in. You know, I had a, a peek over at Helios 1. They were none the wiser. Uh, anyways, what did you do with the Rangers? How, how's that life? They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Black armor, huh? Ain't seen none of that yet. Yeah, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to see it. Anyways, I noticed when you were getting up out of the, the bed there, your leg was a little fucked. What happened to that? Is that why you couldn't catch the kidnapper in town? <laughs> I'm just busting your balls. But seriously, what happened to your leg, though? This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. And what'd you do? 
I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Well, the way I see it, Ranger Andy, your body's definitely been fucked up in the line of duty, but your mind seems pretty spry. If you think you're useless, you're, you're kidding yourself, you know? I really was joking about that kidnapping thing. I think that you could probably help me if Boone still wants to give me the case after all. Huh. <laughs> People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know? Maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for that. I do uh, enjoy a bit of melee combat, so... Yeah, that, that's definitely a good thing for me to have. Thank you, Ranger Randy. I'm pleased to have met you. That dude freaks me out significantly less. What a nice fellow he was. Hmm. A little tore up about his situation, but I guess that's okay. Who wouldn't be, you know? Hmm. Tank motel room? Not a whole lot to see in here. A little bit of whiskey. Take that. Ah, first aid. Yes. Take that as well. Some mushrooms growing out the bathtub. What the fuck? Room service. Call the maid in here. Oh. Hello there. If we... If it isn't Mr. Mr. Chrissy. Yes. We meet again. Leave me alone. All right. Later. Time for me to go. Time for you to go. I want to show you something. Here we go. Sorry, Chris. Now you can join your friends. In the great beyond, right? That's what you get for hanging out with ghouls. Now, if Manny Vargas was the one that did kidnap Boone's wife, we could also pin him for murder, huh? It's always good to be one step ahead. Let me check out this computer. Get out of here before anybody shows up. Con hospitality. Manny, you made the right choice, putting us up and keeping it quiet. This weasel Benny's been twitchy since we stole that package from his boss, making me nervous as hell. But, when I found out we'd be passing on through on our way to Boulder City, I was sure we could count on you. Let the other cons say what they want. I know where your loyalty is. One day you'll remember where you belong, and your brothers and sisters will welcome you back like you never left. You know where to find us. Murphy. Hmm. Maybe I should have, uh, stopped in and had a little chat with the great cons. I don't know nothing about this McMurphy. He's got ties to Manny. Interesting. Couple motel rooms up here. Seems like everybody's staying at the Dino B light. It's a fucking place to be, huh? Psycho. Yeah, somebody has been shooting up in here. Surgical tubings, fuck the Wonder Glue. Well, you know you could huff Wonder Glue if you're into that. I think somebody here was just an addict. They might have been sick, but more likely than that, uh, I think they're an addict. We got Jet, we got Psycho, all kinds of good stuff here. Anything in the first aid box? Bobby pin, doctor's bag. Yes, definitely glad to have stopped in here. Save me just a few bucks, that's for sure. Hey. Hello there. 
Oh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait, you... You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Yeah, Mr. Bishop, that's who I work for. Uh, give me all what you got. How about that? Please, no. Why are you gonna make me do this? You could just, just hand the stuff over. Ah. So sad when this happens. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's only gonna take a minute. Sit still. Oh my. The population of Novak is just, uh, crumpling, you know? Down and down. I was hoping he'd have something for me. There's just been a string of murders in this hotel. Terrifying. I'm concerned for the well being of all the people of Novak. Hey. Here's another old lady. I ain't gonna try and lay down with this one, though. No, no sir. It? And howdy to you. Your travel's been going all right? Well, thanks for asking. So, uh, my name's Nick. What, what do you do in Novak? I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Interesting. So, uh, you're a pilot? Uh, how did you get to learn about all these engines and stuff? Vertibird pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. Awesome. You ever fly for the NCR or anything like that? Four? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. Well, goodbye. Watch your six out there. You watch yours. Hey, you get some uh, first thing here, huh? Pardon me for just a minute. Hey, can you go away? I'm fucking busy in here. Yeah, we'll maybe just have a little snack, huh? That should do me well. I don't know what's going on out there. I hear her. She's listening. Hmm. I'm just gonna take this anyways. Found you! Not even close. We'll chop a pilot. Bam! Sorry this had to happen. You could just give me what I want. Ah, old Daisy. Shame when that happens, huh? Well, like I said, I just fear for all the people in Nopec. Population's down to probably four or five people. Definitely don't stay in the Dino D Light Hotel. I'll tell you that right now. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. I don't know what that's from. I heard somebody say it before, though. One of those things everybody knows about but me. Hey, hey Genie. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Yes, well enough. Uh, what's been going on in town lately? Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some Brahmin, but that's probably the heat more than anything. Honestly, it's been real quiet. Ranger Andy's still hurt, but we got these two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of Novak. They've been a blessing. Well, at least... At least the trash that, uh, is visibly trash on the outside. If you trash on the inside, they don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you later. Watch out for strangers. You get the feeling that, uh, she's gonna find things getting more exciting in Novak. I have so much goodwill built up here. And then I, uh, take advantage of it. And that's just kind of what I do, you know? 
No problem. Anyways, I suppose I'm gonna sit around, wait for Boone to show up. God knows when he's supposed to. But I thank you for joining me. We got those ghouls off into space. I don't know if they actually went to another planet or if they're just freezing in space, but I don't really care. People in Novak recognize me. At least the ones that are left. I gotta keep my hands to myself, you know? We gotta practice that. Anyways, I'll see you in the morning, friends. Thanks for joining me. Till then, bye-bye. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.